What's up, everybody? This is Ecto Tech Preacher. So I have the Galaxy S25 Ultra running a beta version of uh, One UI 8.5. Now, there's some things that I like and some things, some things that I don't like, but there's some things that I really do like that I want to talk about in this video. So I'm going to talk about about five features. And one thing that I hate, really do hate about One UI 8.5 uh, in this video. So let's have some fun. Sit back, relax, and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. All right, so one of the unique features that I absolutely love on all my Samsung devices is Samsung DeX. Samsung DeX has been underrated. It's a PC-like experience in your pocket. And it's one of those things where you could get a lot of work done. Just say, for instance, you started something on your Galaxy S25 Ultra right? To say if you was typing the memo and you wanted to do something on the full screen, well, you can have a complete desktop setup. I have a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. I got my Galaxy S25 Ultra Connected USB Type-C to HDMI going into my Rollcaster video. Now I have a PC-like experience and all I have to do is just plug it in and it works just great. And right here, this is going to be Samsung DeX. One of the unique things that you can do with Samsung DeX is that you can change your wallpapers. You can add widgets. Uh, you can move your icons around. You can make it, uh, you can set it up as a PC and you could get a lot of work done from typing to playing games, to editing videos, to editing photos. You could do a lot of stuff. But one of the unique things that 8.5 brought to the table was some uh, nice features here, which if I'm going to show you here, if I click my hamburger bar, they bought in uh, extra desktops. So right now you can add desktops. This say, for instance, right here, this desktop is a clean desktop. And I have this test desktop created to say if I want to get work done. So this desktop is uh, available for me to get work done. So I got all windows open here. I got my Google open here. Look like I got my YouTube channel open. And again, this is only for example, to say if you want to have a couple of windows open and you wanted to get a lot of work done. Well, you could do that here using Samsung Dex. I have, uh, look like I got my YouTube music uh, open. So that is very, very nice. And I can go down here to my hamburger bar and I can set up multiple windows. So I have desktop one, desktop two. Now I have a third desktop that I created, which I have my Samsung TV on. So if I wanted to watch my Samsung TV, I got my movies, my live TV, and all that stuff like that right here on my Samsung DeX. Think about how powerful that is, right? I have multiple desktops set up on 8.5, I could get work done. I could watch TV for entertainment. I could get work done and I could have a clear uh, screen to if I wanted to do anything. Uh, so let me hit the hamburger bar. And right here on the side, right here, this is how you add a desktop. So right now I got three desktops. I don't know how many desktops you could create, but right now I got three desktops and all you had to do is just create a desktop. All right. Another UD feature that was included in uh, 8.5 is multitasking to its fullest. You can have a split screen setup, right? This say I got my three windows open right here. Let me go back to my top down side shot. If you have a keyboard and you click on the windows key and your right arrow or left arrow is going to lock, is going to lock in your windows. Let me give you an example. Okay, so if I hit Let's say if I click on one of the windows, okay? And I hit my windows key left, it's gonna lock it in. You see that? And if I click on this and I click on my windows key and I go right, now it locks it in, split screen, perfect split screen right here. So if I want to get work done, I can get work done here. Or if I want to get work done here, and if I want to add my third window or my fourth window, I could just kind of drag that around and just say I wanted this window here on the left side, I could do that. And if I want this window here on the right side, it locks in. 
Now you do have your three bars right here. If you want to kind of drag it a little bit, as you can see, you can make one bigger than the other one and you could drag it just like that uh, and make it small. So yes, you can get a lot of work done. And just like that, that is really, really nice. Again, Samsung Dex is underrated. I really love this. Okay, so the next feature that I saw, and I'm gonna go back to a clean screen here. Let me go to a clean window. Okay, uh, let's go here, clean window. Okay, uh, another thing that I found in 8.5 was the ability to screen record. All right, so uh, I believe uh, before you could just do a screenshot, now you can re uh, screen record your whole screen index mode. All right, now listen, I don't think this was available. So if I wanted to screen record my screen, and just say if I was playing a game or I was doing something and I wanted to screen record the whole event, I could do that now in Samsung DeX. And uh, you could switch to mirror too. So if I wanted to get out of Samsung DeX and I wanted to use my smartphone as my display, I could do that here also. So that is some unique features right there. So yes, yeah, so you got screen record, then you have mirror. Now, I believe mirror was on 8.0, but uh, screen recall was not on 8.0. One of the things that I absolutely love using Samsung DeX is that you can make it an almost, almost PC-like experience, and it works smooth and fluid. I really love it. And those are the features that I found so far using Samsung DeX on Android 16, One UI 8.5. So one of the unique things that I found with One UI 8.5 is some visual changes, right? We've seen some icon changes and we've seen some unique features as far as that. Uh, and one of the things, a little small changes, right? Some visual changes is the search bar. Now it's small, but it's something big to me. I, I, I notice it right away. Uh, and it helps because it doesn't obstruct from the rest of your applications. This is the Galaxy S23 Ultra that's running uh, One UI 8. This is the Galaxy S25 Ultra that's one, one, one UI 8.5. Small changes, but it's good changes. As you can see right here, the search bar. Now, a little small change on 8.5, right? 8.5, you got the bar is smaller and it's more like it's integrated with your background. It's not like this, right? Kind of sticks out. This one here kind of go, it kind of blends in uh, and it's right there. So it don't obstruct no applications, right? See how that kind of obstruct the application? This one don't. I mean, look, little small changes, but this is pretty big, right? To me. Now, this is my Galaxy S23 Ultra. I made a video about the glass and everything. So if you watch my, my videos, you, you get this, y'all talk about it, right? So one of the things that, that they did was it made it more prominent, right? It, it, it visually looks good here versus over here. As you can see, the icons is a little more depth. It's a little more, you know, visually sound. You got your, your, your bars there right in the middle. And it's kind of, mute it out a little bit here. It gives you an opportunity so you can kind of see where everything at and it kind of has it in more of a categories and it makes it a, a, a good visual change, right? Uh, going from this style to this style. So it, it, it makes it look better, right? Uh, it took, it took away all of, you know, the stuff that's underneath it. You see all that, all that stuff underneath it. They just made it this single words and it makes it cleaner. Uh, 8.5 is a whole lot cleaner. The search bar, again, right at the bottom, uh, and kind of went away with this, the little search at the top. You see how, how they have the search at the top here on one uh, uh, eight? They took away that, and now they just have the little search bar there all the time. Instead of you had to click on that and, and try to find it, but it's, it's there all the time. So the search bar is all around the UI. Anytime you go into your applications, anytime you go into your settings, the search bar is going to be right there, which, hey, a pretty nice change with the One UI 8.5. So one of the things that's unique and new with One UI 8.5 is that if you're a filmmaker and this say if you don't have uh, a lot of storage on your, you know, your device, right? If you have a SSD hard drive, you can now connect it to the USB slot here and uh, in your uh, camera application, there is now a 
icon now that say you can save to external storage. Okay, I do want to mention this, that I've played around with this feature. I'm on a beta, just so you know, it's been hit and miss. I have connected my external SSD to my Galaxy S25 Ultra and I recorded stuff. And when I connected it to my Mac, the Mac is not recognizing it, but on my PC it's hit and miss. So just so you know, if, and again, this is bad, it is something that they may have to iron out uh, when the final version come out. Uh, so when you save your videos and your photos to external SSD or external hard drive, Yes. The, the file may not work on the Mac. I cannot get it to work on my Mac, but I can get it to work on my Windows PC. So it's kind of what, what. It is coming out as an MP4 file, but uh, it's not recognizing it on my Mac. It's telling, it's, it's telling me it's corrupt on the Mac versus on my PC. I was able to get it to work on my PC. Again, this is a beta. So when the final version come out, I can go back and retest that. Okay, so as we talk about the camera app, let's talk about log. As you know, I made a video shot only on the Galaxy S25 Ultra using log, and then I color corrected using the Samsung application uh, that's on the device, right? You can't use the Google application. You do have to use the other application, which is going to be the gallery, okay? You have to use the Samsung, but the, I ain't gonna say Samsung, but the gallery that's already pre-installed on the app to in order to color correct. Now, Log was already available on most devices, but what Samsung did with One UI 8.5, it moved it. And I had a trouble finding Log. Uh, just say I got a Log uh, video here. Now, if I wanted back then on 8.0, if I want to color correct this, I just swiped it up and it popped up right here and it say color correct. It's no longer here, okay? Just so you know, uh, and it had me confused for a while because Samsung moved uh, the color correction in the application. Okay, so in order to color correct all your log footage, you have to go into the editing tool, okay? And right here in the middle, uh, you have, I'm sorry, right here, they have like a little sun or something right there. You have what's called LUT. That's going to be your color correction tool right there. Okay. So if you want the, the device to automatically color correct for you, they moved it from where it was before on 8.0. Then they moved it here on 8.5. So it, instead of saying color correction, it's saying LUT. Just so you know, because it, I shot the entire video using log and I didn't even know where the the, the part to color correct was. I thought that at first that Samsung removed it, but they didn't. Uh, so let's go back to the beginning here. Okay, this say for instance, I shot in log. And right here, since I shot this in log, as you can see, it's a bland footage, nothing. You have to go into your editing tool. It's no longer here. Uh, as far as color correction, you have to go into this sunlight device icon hit there and you had to hit LUT now once you hit LUT it's going to turn it on okay and put it on standard now it color corrected for you now you can kind of see how it was before color correction you hit standard and it gives it color okay now at this point you can add more contrast you can add shadow saturation tint temperature so you can add more color you can take away color you can completely color grade your entire image here in this part of the application uh but i've if you use this standard it's going to give you a nice standard color look and it's actually look really good here so you could turn it off to see how it look then you can turn it back on here right okay so some of the things is still here with One UI 8.5, but Samsung moved some stuff around. Now, whether or not I like this or not, I don't know. 
I was kind of used to flipping up and then hitting the word color correction, but uh, they moved it. Just so you know, they call it LUT. You could turn it off, you could turn it on to add color to your footage. Okay, so that's five things, right? Probably a little more than five things. I mean, I talked about a whole bunch of stuff in this video, right? The search bar, some of the icons, uh, the, the external storage. Uh, I also talked about some Dex features here. Uh, and I also talked about some of the color correction changes and some of the better quality videos that uh, I found with uh, One UI 8.5. Uh, now, if you cover from, uh, one UI 8.0, you will notice some changes uh, as far as the visibility of the icons and everything else in between. Also, you're going to see uh, it, the, the look and feel of the device is really smooth and fluid. So it perform the performance is really good, right? Okay, so one of the things that I said that I really don't like, right, is the battery life. Now, the S25 Ultra battery life has not been that great, in my opinion, even before I add the beta on here. But if you're going to run One UI 8.5 on your Galaxy S25 Ultra, it's going to take a huge hit on battery life. Battery life is not that great on 8.5. Even though it wasn't that great on 8.0, it's. I would tell you that I was getting about a good four and a half, five hours of screen on time with uh, One UI 8.5 zero on the s25 ultra i'm inking out about four hours so i'm losing a little screen on top again this is a beta i get it right this is a beta but i do want you to know that uh, i am definitely not impressed at the battery life at the uh, of the galaxy s25 ultra so if you do use the beta of uh, beta of 8.5 just understand yes you will get some unique features but you're going to take a Big hit on battery life. So if you want to see more videos of One UI 8.5, things that I'm finding, some of my complaints, stay tuned and subscribe. This is like the Tech Preacher. See you guys on the next video. Peace.